Well, um, here we are. This is our third year of Strictly Speaking. Whoa, I can't believe it's our third year doing it. Wow. Yeah. So, um, Poppy, how have you been this entire year about Strictly? Well, I have definitely missed Strictly this year. Definitely. It's been, you know, a long time since we've last watched Strictly. But I feel like this year there's quite a lot of people I know which I'm very happy about. Yes. What same. about you? Yeah, it's it's been yeah, it's been a crazy year. Um first of all, um Shirley, you the TikToker Shirley, you know who you are. Um <laughs> what on earth? What 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 the hell with the strictly speaking? <laughs> I know. Oh, how annoying. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can't really blame her. I mean, I know she probably doesn't know that we exist and like to be <laughs> fair, like we didn't originate the name strictly speaking either. Um, because Kevin Clifton had a podcast called Strictly Speaking, which I didn't know about until after we'd started doing Strictly Speaking. But I mean, in case anyone knows, we are not. We didn't steal. Nobody stole the name Strictly Speaking from anyone. So no. we're not changing the name. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, I think it's just such a good name. Yes, it is a good name. Um, <laughs> everyone wants it. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. Have you like has have you, have you been up to anything like strictly wise in the past year? No, I don't think I have. Have you? Well, I know you have. <laughs> I have. Um, okay, we know that this this whole year and strictly has been quite um, you know, a little bit controversial. The last yeah. nine months have been quite controversial in the world of strictly, but. but basically, we're um we're just here to spread the joy of strictly in these chaotic times. Um. I did go to the live tour again this year and I posted a vlog on YouTube. Yes, I watched it. <laughs> um I also if if anyone is like looking at my looks at my community stories which I don't think anyone does except for like maybe like nine people. Um I met Giovanni and Lauren earlier this year. Wow, that's very good. Um yes, and they they were both so lovely. Lauren is like was the, was so nice like she she signed my annual and um we me and my mum would like talking to her and she we said oh we're gonna go see the live tour and she was like oh wow when are you going like well we're going like next week or something and she's like oh give a big cheer for Krishnan for me <laughs> oh that's so nice <laughs> I was like yeah not a chance but you know still love your line um so yeah, Giovanni. Yeah, he's he was lovely as well. He gave he gave us like a little like kiss on the like head and everything. It was really sweet. Oh. Um. Yeah. So that was really cool. Um. I mean. So yes. Now I've now the pros. I've now who I've met. I've now met uh, Shirley. I've had my picture with Yavita, Giovanni, yep. Lauren. I've like seen in person Aliash and Jeanette. Um. Kai and Nadia. I've seen in person. Um. Still, wow, I'm, I'm very jealous. Well, what I mean, I mean, I've seen it. Also, I've seen loads of them in person because I've been to the tour and everything. But I mean, just like as in like being uh, up close, kind of like in like Thanks. shows. I yeah. mean, the dream would be to see Diane, but I don't know if she she probably hates me after last year. Why? Okay, I I know. Okay, Diane, if you're watching this, which I know you're probably not, but if if you are watching this and you watched my videos last year, I'm really sorry if you were uncomfortable by um the way I acted last year um <laughs> like my yeah my my theory and everything oh my yeah list. that I'm kind of like looking back at that kind of cringing like I know that was that was kind of I, I'm also mainly owning up to this because like I don't have I won't be able to use the excuse of I'm a dumb teenager obsessed with like things for much longer <laughs> so <laughs> oh yeah that's true <laughs> yes yeah, so again i'm really sorry um i hope joe hasn't fired me from um, being his fun his like title creator <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that's true he might have <laughs> yeah and um or if i'm wrong and you're watching this and you've never watched um, my videos before um hi diane welcome to the channel and um you do not watch any of my videos from last year <laughs> um <laughs> So yeah, just a just a yeah thing. I'm I'm go- I'm going to try and be a little bit more you know less crazy this year because I'm 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 growing up now and I need to um like be more grown up about 
I need to try and like stop like fangirling so hardly over so many things about Strictly. <laughs> Um, I mean, oh, no, obviously, I mean, I'm not gonna stop fangirling completely, but I mean, I can. I'm. I'm gonna try and like speak clearly. <laughs> um. So yeah, that was um. Yeah, another like clear off topic thing. But I, I, I had this character that I designed earlier in the like a few weeks ago, that my grandma yeah. said looked like Diane, and then I sent it to you and. Oh yeah. I swear it was not my intention to make her look like Diane, and I still don't see it. It does look like Diane. I thought it looked that, like Diane, to be honest. So I definitely sided with your grandma. Believe me, if I wanted to make a character look like Diane, I would. So, so I did, but um. Well, you did in the end. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I don't, I don't really see it that much. I mean, she's not even got red. I mean, she is, she's ginger, like, but I mean. Um... No, I agree with your grandma. <laughs> okay, so um, what do you think of this year's lineup? Hmm. Well, I'm to be honest, I feel like this is the most I've known for a little while, so I am actually quite pleased with it. I, there's still quite a few that I don't know, but yeah, I'm yeah, I'm actually quite pleased with it this year. I'm going what to about keep, you? I'm going to be honest. I mean, I I do know a lot of the people. Um, yeah. But I'm still a little disappointed, and it's not—it's nothing to do with the celebrities because they all seem like nice people, which I couldn't exactly say about last year's lineup. But, <laughs> but I mean, like, I'm mainly just disappointed because one, there is more men than women. It's like, oh, yeah. but that's just nine men and six women. That's not equal at all. Um, yeah. And then the other reason is because it doesn't look like there's going to be any same-sex couples. Oh uh, yeah, I've seen that online. Yeah, yeah, I'm disappointed in that. It's like I was literally like buzzing, like being like on my holiday. I'm like, oh cool, they're announcing the last three people. Are they going to announce a drag queen? Finally, they're going to have a drag queen, and then they didn't. Uh, and I was like, I was actually just kind of like, oh okay, never mind. Maybe maybe uh, next year. I'm I'm disappointed yeah. in that. Like I've been like, what are they waiting for? Like, what are you waiting for? Strictly like get a drag queen or just like because I want another like. I want a like a, another all female partnership. Yeah. Because I mean, we've had two all female partnerships, and I mean, neither of them were you know, that great. I'm sorry, um, <laughs> but they didn't. They neither of them made it that far. Um, yeah. And I mean, we've had three all male partnerships, and two of them have made it to the final. So yeah, I just want that to have that kind of same kind of like victory for an all female couple yeah but never mind i feel like they'll probably do it next year though to be honest i want i want two same-sex couples next year to make up for it maybe three like i don't care get get a drag queen and, and like an all-female partnership i like to make up for it this is the 20th anniversary like i thought you would want to i thought they'd want to go big yeah but i mean Oh, so do you not do you not think were you expecting more from the celebrities? Were you expecting like a bigger celebrity? Yeah, like I just feel like I mean, yeah, the lineup I mean, again, they seem like nice people and I'm sure I'm excited to see how each of them are gonna do, but I'm just I'm still kinda of disappointed like there's no like same sex couples because like it's like seems like they're going backwards. So, like mm. that just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. I don't know, but there might be some next year, maybe. Maybe they'll do more than one. <laughs> There better be. Um, so I'm going to go on to my uh, notes file on my phone to remember who I wrote down. So let's go through the uh, the celebrities and the um, who we think is going to be partnered with who. So we know that Kai, Carlos, Kai and Carlos are not getting partners. Oh, well, that's so sad. I like Carlos. I know. And I like um... Kai as well. Yeah, it's strictly fault for, you know, getting less women. Yeah, exactly. How annoying. Yeah, so let's start with Chris McCosland. He is, who? I mean, who do you think he's going to be with? Because I have one option. Um, who do I think he'll be with? If I have a think about the couples, I would say maybe Nancy. That's a good idea. I put Amy. Oh yeah, okay. I could see Amy with him. Yeah, 
because I mean I want obviously I want the entire world for Amy Dowden because yeah. after everything she's been through I'm I watched her documentary last week mm-hmm. me and my mum mm-hmm. did you watch it yeah I watched it Absolutely it was incredible. very sad yeah in, it was it, I mean it's good to like raise awareness and everything yeah yeah it was a really good documentary yeah yeah and, and, I mean I'm, I'm definitely going to read her book which is which came out today oh, yeah. actually exciting yeah i would read her book as well where can you get it from like w h smith's probably i mean i i, I have I, I have diane and johannes's books i got them both for christmas i've read a couple of chapters of Jah- i'm not i'm not i'm not really like a big reader i mean i write a lot but i don't i'm not, not a massive <laughs> reader so I'm, I'm trying to work yeah. on that all the time i've read some of diane's book and i've read a couple of chapters of johannes's book which is getting made into a film which is great um please Ooh. hire me to work on it because i'm you know a film student but um yeah that's gonna yeah i mean it's really it's really good and i'm definitely going to be reading amy's book i mean maybe if i get it for christmas which i hopefully will and also i mean jeanette's got a book as well so that's loads of books i'm gonna yeah. say i'm gonna read and then it'll take me probably forever to get around to actually reading it but you know it's nice <laughs> to have them yeah you've got the options to read it <laughs> yeah um yeah i mean we we we, we Every every year, like there's always the strictly stuff. I've got oh yeah, I've got a Shirley Ballas autobiography as well that I haven't really oh, read. Um, but yeah, I've I've got like all the strictly stuff. I've got the strictly calendar and the annual, and you've got them as yeah. well, haven't you? Yes, yes, I got the um the annual as well, uh, which I think I've still got a bit more to read actually. So yeah, I don't think I've fully read it yet. Yeah, I think I think so too. I don't. I, th- I know. I think it's downstairs somewhere. I might have to just check it out. I mean, I didn't really look that much at the twenty twenty um f- the year before's annual because like I just I got it late and so I didn't like really ever get around to reading it properly. So I'll definitely do that. Yeah. As well. Yeah, you kind of have to read it straight away, don't yeah. you? I've read the entire. I, I think I've read pretty much the entire of the um the Rose Year annual. Oh really? Oh yeah, you liked Rose that year, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, I've read a couple of pages of like of, of the um year after Zanyol, but I mean, it's still like a lot. It's, I think it's literally like in the it's some in some like ottoman in my room, like among all the stuffed toys or something. Because I was like looking at one day and then put it down there and then just never touched it again. But I will, I will read it. I'm trying to work on my reading. I have a lot of things that I need to read. I have a lot of work. To do. I like, I, I'm trying to write, do my write my own stories as well yeah oh wow you're gonna be busy <laughs> yeah i mean just and also because i've got college as well so i mean that's a reason i mean meanwhile i mean you know, i'm my, my best friend is is like um it's like only reads really like he every time every time we go into a shop he's gets to get some new books and, and then apparently his mum's like you have too many books and for, meanwhile it's me like you've got too many stuff stuff toys or <laughs> books that you're never gonna read i was like i will read them eventually just maybe not in a couple of years eventually <laughs> eventually um, a long time <laughs> so yeah um oh yeah definitely love amy dowd and we'll definitely be checking out her book hopefully definitely yeah. definitely, definitely, we'll, definitely definitely we'll get it hopefully we'll read <laughs> <laughs> yeah hopefully you do but <laughs> yeah um so uh yeah chris and amy chris and nancy i could see both of those i really oh, yeah. Vita. that's that's a good idea i'm asked i could see i could see him being with a lot of with people i mean it'll be like a, a new like challenge i guess for, mm. for yeah they haven't had anyone blind yet have they no i'm, I'm really interested to see how he's gonna do like that because obviously like you'd like learn to dance through like seeing me yeah. so i'm mm. really intrigued to know how how that's gonna work yeah i'm excited by that yeah definitely yeah i mean i hope i hope he's like surprises us all and he like i hope he's actually like because like you never you never know it's always the ones that you the least expect that end up you know, yeah. being really good, like Hamza. Yeah, like Hamza, like Bill Bailey. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, what about JB Gill? He's one I'm excited for. I I reckon I'm 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 kind of rooting for him. Um. I don't really know too much about him, but I'm sure he'll be very good. <laughs> he seems like he's quite excited for it. Yeah. The reason I'm excited for it is because I mean, this is Shirley's like one shot of redemption. I think. If and you know I love Shirley, but after I met her last year and she was just the nicest person ever. Um yeah. after Power Virgie still have a small grudge against her for Aston and it's been seven years. Oh. <laughs> um 
literally when when the Aston thing happened, I was like in in school and my friends like we were all obsessed with Aston. And then when he went home, we were all like crying at school for like a week and oh. like, we were all, like upset about it and angry and <laughs> we all like hated Shirley for a bit. And then like, <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> so yeah, Shirley, I about that. what year was that? It was twenty seventeen. Oh wow! So were you in primary school then? Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, so Shirley, if you're watching this, which I know you're not, but if you are, this is your one chance. If JB, if no matter who he's with, if JB is ever in the dance off and it comes down to your decision and you save him, you will officially have been forgiven by me. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's that's your really good. One, sh- one chance, though. <laughs> well, I, who I think I think he might be with. Um, is, I think, either Nadia, maybe? Uh, I don't think so. I've heard it. I mean, he's quite short. So. Oh, he's short. Okay, right. Thank you for that. I'm thinking... Oh, if he's short, then maybe um, Jovita. For me, there's only one option, and that's Diane. Do you think... Oh, and I was going to say Diane as well. Yeah. Yeah, that was my other option, yeah. Oh, I'm actually going to go with Diane, yeah. I can see those two working really well, yeah. Did you see that Definitely. video that he posted of, like, his... um He, like, telling all his, like, friends and family that he was doing Strictly? It was so sweet. Well, it was so sweet. They were all so excited, yeah. Yeah, I just... I can just see him and Diane working together. Like, they have that kind yeah. of chemistry. Like, I can see them having that chemistry. I agree, yeah. I, I had Diane in my head, and then I was, like, looking at the pros, and I was like... But yeah, I completely agree. Diane, yeah. Yeah. Um, then we've got Dr. Poonam Krishan, who I do know. I've seen her on Morning Live. Oh, really? I don't watch that show. But, um, yeah, I mean, she seems nice. I feel like she would probably be with... Oh, this is tricky. So Carlos and Kai are not doing it so maybe Gorka that's what I put down really yay <laughs> that's good so we agree on that one yeah <laughs> okay. okay then we have Toya Wilcox who I don't really I don't really know who she is I mean I've heard her name but no. I don't really I don't, I've never like listened to any of her songs I don't really know who she is though. my mom, I'm my mom and everyone single? else in my family knows who she is but I mean I don't I thought she's an actress no, she's a singer. Is she? Because it says actress and 80s icon. Yeah, 80s singer, I think. Oh, uh, and actress. Maybe right. she's both. I came across one of her CDs in HMV the other week, so, like, I mean, yeah, she's a, she's a singer. Oh, really? Oh, okay, that's quite cool. I have no idea who she is, but I would think... Uh, surely they're going to give Ali Ash someone good, though, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, she could be good. But I would say, do you know if she's tall or short? I don't, but I think, but for me, I can just, I can only really see her with Neil. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Neil Toya and Neil, yeah. that, works, that works well, I think. That works really well, yeah. Definitely, I agree. Although, oh, I don't know. Because I could kind of see Neil with Sarah Highland. Havland, sorry. Yeah, you're going to kill me for this, but I actually don't really know who Sarah Hadland is. <laughs> oh, my God, that's terrible. You need to get watching Miranda straight away. I've been watching so many other things at the moment. I've just started watching This Is Us, and that's oh really good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyway, we'll get on to her in a bit. <laughs> okay, um, Tia Toya, I can, I, I can only really see her with Neil. I mean, I mean, so people have said like other suggestions, but I just think, I mean, if they're going to put Neil with anyone this year, I think it would be her. Yeah, or maybe Johannes. Yeah, that could that, I could see that. But yeah, I'm gonna go with Neil or Johannes. Yeah, that's a definite thing. Um, okay. So, f- speaking of Aliash, obviously he's back, and everyone is, and the world is good again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you see that yeah, trailer I yesterday? So excited for that! That was a shock. Yeah, I'm. I'm so happy though. Like, I mean, did you see that trailer yesterday? Um, no, I haven't seen that yet. No, I'll have to watch it. Obviously, Ali is driving a driving like a party bus with all the Strictly pros like dancing in it. Oh really? Oh <laughs> no, I haven't seen that. I'll have to watch it. 
Yeah, it's, it's you can find it on like literally like on the any of like the accounts basically. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah, I can see it right now. Yeah. Oh okay, yeah. Oh yeah, I see it. That's quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. For me, there's only one up. option for Aliash. <laughs> Because we we know, I think I reckon they're gonna put him with someone who's good, but probably not. Yeah. So probably someone who's really gonna be really good, but probably someone who's not gonna win. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Um, so maybe Sam. 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 Quick. How do you say her name? <laughs> Sam Quick. Sam Quick. I don't know who she is, but I could see Aliash with her. For me, there's only one option, and that's Tasha. Really. Yeah, because I've oh, heard Sasha's quite tall. Aliash is quite tall. Yeah. Okay, I could see that, to be fair. I could also see her with Vito, though. I don't think so, because, I mean, the thing about... Because he's the winner, I reckon they're always going to put the winner with someone who I don't think is... Who they don't think is going to do very well. So, again, you're going to kill me for this, but I reckon they're going to put Vito with Sarah Hadland. Okay, I could see that, to be fair. Yeah, okay, yeah. I agree, so... But I would either go, so for Sarah Hadland, I would go Neil or Vito. Those are my two options. Okay, we're kind of we're kind of going um off the rails a little bit. So let's um <laughs> let's go one let's go one at a time. So focus on one at a time because we're kind of like jumping and jumping. So um yeah, we are jumping. Not much although we could yeah. So Sarah we'll Hadland. We'll them. <laughs> focus on Sarah Hadland right now. So I think Vito. Okay. You think Neil? You said right. Vito or Neil? Yeah. Yeah. I'm so I'm 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 gonna say I'm I'm saying Vito, Neil for Toya. You're saying Vito or Neil for Sarah, which I can definitely see. Yeah. Um. I, I yeah. mean, I know that sounds kind of horrible, but it's like out of all of the women, like there, she's the one I just think would probably be the least great at dancing. But I mean, she's probably still going to be very good though. So like, oh, I think she might be quite good. I think she might surprise us. She is so funny. You have to watch her on Miranda. Honestly, she is so funny. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, I'm just trying to, um, just looking at the. I mean, they're obviously not going to bench the winner, so like they're gonna, um, they obviously they they they're not going to want him to win again. So they're going to put him with someone that they don't think is going to win. Yeah, so I think that might be. So yeah, it could be Sarah Hadden. I can really see Neil with her, but I'm like knowing that yeah with. But then Vito could also be with um Toya. Yeah, so I think Toya, um, Toya, Sarah, and Neil Vito are all interchangeable. Yes, basically, I think it will be one of those two for sure. Yeah. Um. So now let's talk about um, go compare man. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I ha- I didn't realize it was it was him at first. I was like, who on earth is Win Evans? Okay, first few few like good couple of weeks, I was calling him Edwin. <laughs> <laughs> Edwin <laughs> because his name his name is Win and Edwin he kind of gives me that kind of like you know like jolly vibe and yeah. when I think of jolly for some reason and the name Win I think of Edwin who played Uncle Albert in Mary Poppins oh my god <laughs> and so I was calling him Edwin for a good couple of weeks <laughs> yeah. yeah I didn't really know who he was too much but um, yeah I know he's the go compare man and yeah I mean who do I think he'll be with? I think he might be with maybe Lauren. That's what I said. Oh, perfect. We're really matching with our um, answers this time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, because then there'll be um, Lauren. Pardon? There'll oh, Lauren. Uh, yeah. It's like the same reason oh. for, I mean, because um, Ali Ash and Tash would be Ali Tash. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, Win Evans. Like, I had no idea. I was, like, I was saying to my mum, like, I, I, when, when it was announced, I was like, who on earth is Win Evans? He said he's an opera singer. Oh, great, opera. I mean, I'm not really into opera. And then if you, I, I read the comments, and then I was like, oh, no, he's the Go Compare Man. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> and I was like, uh, mum, we actually do know who Win Evans is. And she's like, really? And my dad's like, just like looking over the call, like, yeah, you do. <laughs> and then I'm like, like, he's the Go Compare Man. I'm like, what? <laughs> I yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I'm not sure if he's going to be good or not, though. I mean, I don't know. He he. I think I reckon he could be like Hamza. He could surprise us. Possibly, yeah, he could do. Yeah. So yeah, Win and Lauren, I can definitely see. 
Um, yeah, I can see him with Lauren. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I want I want all good things for Lauren after I met her. This I mean, I've always wanted good things for her, but especially now that I've met her and because she's so lovely, I want I want all good things for her. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I want I want good things for all of them. Yeah, definitely. Um, what about uh Pete Wicks? Um, I feel like maybe Katya. I have down either Luba or Katya. I can't. I can't really decide. Yeah. No, I'm gonna go Katya for sure. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I mean, it's either. I mean, I actually didn't really write down um Nick Knowles. I didn't write him down on here because I forgot that he was on it. So I'm gonna say whoever's not with Pete, whoever's not with um. Pete Wicks is probably going to be with Nick Knowles. Yeah. So yeah, um, Pete okay. Wicks, um, Nick Knowles, Luba, Katya again interchangeable. <laughs> interchangeable, yeah. Okay. I um, can that. I've seen a lot of people saying that he could be with Diane, but I don't. I don't think they would do that because apparently they're quite good friends already. Oh really? Are they yeah. friends? I have no idea. I don't. I don't really know who he is. I know he's like best friends with Sam. Sam and Zara. Yeah, I think he's, yeah, he's something to do with reality TV and stuff. Yeah, I mean, he's, I think he's, he's not, he's quite short actually, so I reckon maybe he could be with Katia, because I'm pretty sure Katia is shorter than Luba. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, then Tom Dean. Tom Dean, um, well, I watched him on the Olympics. I think possibly Nadia. Yes, that's what I've put down. Or um, Luba. Yeah, though, because he he is like really tall. Yeah, so he's gonna need someone tall. But yeah, I'm gonna go Nadia. I think. Yeah, I said Nadia. Yeah. Good. I'm glad we agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's matching quite a lot this year. I mean, I think yeah, I mean, it's like weird. The one year that. I you know only broke down like one or two for each of them. It's like the year that we're matching compared to last year when I was putting like three down. Oh yeah. Oh my god, yeah, you put so many down last year. Yeah, I'm trying to be a little bit more like unbiased. I was kinda of, like going a little bit like going along. I was kinda of, like, okay, as they were announcing them, I was like, okay, let's say who I think is I'll look in like now and then I'll change it like if anyone new gets announced and I think that pro would be better with that person. Yeah, well, I feel like I'm matching more with you right now, and I haven't even put much. I'm, I haven't even prepared it, which is weird. <laughs> I've just had, I've had mean, this this notes file out for a couple of weeks now. Have you? Oh, wow, very prepared. <laughs> yeah. Very. Um, prepared. <laughs> what about Shane Ward? Um. Again, I have no idea who he is. It says actor and singer, so that's great. Um, I think he will probably be with Karen. I put down Nancy. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I could see that. I mean, I put Nancy with Chris at first, but now I'm not seeing that. So, but anyway, I I do think... um, I'm thinking Karen, maybe. Oh, I don't know, though. Karen or... No, I'm going to stick with Karen. Yeah. Oh, or actually Michelle. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think Michelle should probably get a partner. Yeah. Just, just so, cause, because nobody, because my mum still has no idea who she is. And I keep on saying, like, <laughs> hey, like, how about Michelle should be with this person? And she's like, who's Michelle? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I feel bad for her. She needs a bit of screen time now. Yeah. But I think she will get a partner. So okay. I'm now thinking maybe she'll get Shane Ward. I'm, I'm sticking with Nancy though. Um, okay. Now we've got last year's Christmas champion Jamie Borthwick. Ah, uh, now I who was he with in the Christmas special? He was with Nancy in the Christmas special. Interesting. So they won't put him with Nancy again. Um. So who haven't I done? I'm thinking either. I'm thinking it could be Karen. I know I've already said Karen for someone else. But I could see him with Karen or possibly, oh, Michelle. Possibly Michelle as well, even though I've already said both of them. I put on Yuvita. Okay. Does it, I feel like he gives me the, the vibes that he's quite tall. I don't think he's that tall. 
I don't, I'm not sure. I don't really, I don't really watch EastEnders. And I don't really know who he is outside of EastEnders. I mean, I've... I have no idea. I mean, I, I have but... seen him on EastEnders. I know he was, like, Danielle Harold's, like, husband or something when she died last year on EastEnders. And then, yeah, that's how I know him. Let me have a look. I'm searching up his height. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Um, height. Let me just type it in. Let's see how tall he is. Oh, it doesn't really say how tall he is. Yeah, I tried to look it up as well, but it didn't really say anything. Like, it told me, like, yeah. most of them, but not him. I have no idea. Maybe it's because he, maybe, maybe he is short, then. Well, maybe he's short. He doesn't want anyone to know. What's the nothing wrong with being, being a short king? Come on, Jamie. <laughs> I know. Oh, poor him. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that, and I'm, I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite tall myself. So, like, I mean, I, I don't. Yeah, you're tall. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Okay, who's on it? Um, who's on it? Person. Montel Douglas. Oh yeah, I don't know who she is. Um. Oh, she was on Gladiators or something, wasn't she? Yeah, I didn't really watch Gladiators. I couldn't really get into it. I have, yeah, I've never watched it, uh, so I don't know who she is, but who do I think she will be with? She was also giving Ali Ash vibes. Yeah, I was thinking, I mean, I was thinking Ali Ash or Johannes, but that's mainly due to her height. She's, like, really tall. Yeah, I don't see her with Johannes, I'm not sure. I do see Ali Ash. I'm thinking. I don't know. I'm just Johannes, mean, I'm so maybe. fixed on Ali Ash and Tasha, so I'm going to stick with Johannes. Okay, you stick with Johannes. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Good idea. Yeah, she is. She is. I think she is quite tall, so that's why I put her with like I can match her up with those two. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Then we've got Sam Quick. Yeah. Oh, but then I said Ali Ash with. So it's interchangeable. Ali Ash with Sam or Montel. But if it wasn't Ali Ash for Sam, it would probably be... Oh, we haven't said... can't remember what his... Oh, we haven't said Nikita. That's why I I put down for her. Have you? I don't know if I see it, though. I think Sam and Nikita sounds quite nice. It does. Oh, I don't know. But I'm going to go, yeah, either Ali Ash or Nikita, maybe. Yeah, um, yeah, and then finally we've got Paul Mercer. Actually, no, not finally. I, I'm saying finally because it's the last one that's this. Um, let's just say Paul Mercer for now. I put Karen. Oh, okay. I could see um, Nadia. Mm-hmm. Um, I could also see... Yeah, I could also see probably Luba, actually. Yeah. Luba, yeah, I'm going to go with Luba. Mm, but then Nick Knowles might be Luba. Yeah, I feel like Luba's on her path to redemption at the moment, so they're going to probably want to put her with someone who's going to be good. Oh, okay. I'm and not who saying would be good? Not gonna, the, 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 like, he's not going to be good, but I just don't... I'm not so sure. Like, my uncle knows him, and he, my uncle's not, like, very keen on him. Really? Your uncle knows who? Um, Paul Mercer. Really? How does your uncle know him? I don't remember, but I mean, he said he's probably going to go out first. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not very good. <laughs> yeah, um, so yeah, I'm saying with Paul, Paul and Karen. I mean, I'm not I'm not sure. Again, I did, after you said, I think I could see Karen with... Who did you say Karen... Who did you put Karen with? Um, who did I put Karen with? Um, Shane. Did I put him with Sh- her with Shane? Honestly, can't remember now. I'm getting all confused between them all. <laughs> I have to have to play back the play back the recording. Yeah. The reason I'm, I'm I'm saying like um because because I reckon there's going to be like just thinking how I think they'd sound. I think Chris and Amy, JB and Diane, Doctor Panam and Gorka, like Toya and Neil. I think they would kind of like just sound good together. So that's, that's yeah, where I match them up. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. So uh, and Nick Knowles. That's the last one. Nick Knowles. Um, I would probably say, oh, I could see him with possibly Nancy. Yeah. Or, yeah, I'm going to go with Nancy. Or, or actually, no, 
So I definitely think Amy might actually be with Chris. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now I'm like, Nancy, could Nancy be with Nick? Possibly. Yeah, I was, I'm, I'm actually not thinking about maybe Yovita and Nick. Yeah, I just keep like switching. I'm like, I say something and then I'm like, oh, actually, this could be better. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure, but I mean, um, I think that's all the couples or all the celebrities and pros. Yeah, I think we've done them all, to be honest. Okay, now I have enough other things I need to talk about. So we, have you, you like seen on TikTok, they're doing a Minions dance in movie week. Okay, well, that's quite cool. Yeah, and Kai was wearing like a Gru scarf and everything. Oh, really? I have not seen that, no. <laughs> I mean, I'm all for it. I love, I love the minions. I love. I mean, yes, I'm. I know, yes, I, I love the minions. Don't come for me. Um, I, I think they're funny. Um, <laughs> and yeah. I love the Despicable Me movies as well. Like I, I, I made a video when the trailer for the fourth one came out. Oh really? Yeah, and I've seen the, I've seen all, I've seen the fourth one in the cinema as well, and I, I like, I, I really love the movies. So I'm, I'm all for this. I, well, I did think they were going to do Inside Out too. But, yeah, I would have thought so as well, actually. I mean, I don't, yeah, but don't remember say like how is it not going? How's it going to work? Like, if they're doing a Minions dance, they can do like they can do an Inside Out dance. Like Stacey and Kevin did a Minions dance anyway. So like, get put someone in like a bl- yellow dress and a blue wig and a, and have them like do like a um, contemporary dance to the theme tune, and then like have some kind of like crazy music style thing or thing to like kind of simulate the movie, and then like have someone like just have like all the okay let's just do some fun who would beat you the emotions who would be which of the pros would be best be joy oh um amy yes yes that 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 would make complete sense okay sadness sadness (laughs) um yeah karen (laughs) um um fear are we just doing the girls here, or are no? We doing... we're doing... Fear is a boy. Let's do. Which boy would be fear? Um, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. Um, <laughs> anger. Or oh, um, veto. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Um, disgust is a disgust. Oh, a girl for disgust. Um, Katya. Pardon? Katya. Katya, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all, all, yeah, I'm thinking Katya. I'm thinking like which kind of girls kind of like a bit sassy, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. Then we have the new ones. What anxiety? Oh, um, what, a girl or a boy? Girl. Um, anxiety. Luba? Uh, I don't know. Um, Nadia? Who? Nadia? Um, maybe. I actually don't know for anxiety. Um, Nancy. I'm not sure. We'll, come, we'll, we'll think about anxiety. I'm not completely sure. <laughs> um, then we've got embarrassment. <laughs> um, who for? A boy. A boy. Oh. Vito? <laughs> Didn't you say Vito for anger, though? Yeah, let's go Nikita then. I'm not I'm not sure after think who who's someone who gets some crush on. I mean, maybe Neil, but I mean, but we've already said Neil. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Well, we'll probably we'll think think about this later. Um, so uh, what about then we have um Envy, a girl. Oh um, let's have a look. Um, Envy. Oh, I don't know. What do you think? Uh. Maybe maybe Diane. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, and then ennui, which means boredom, as a girl. Um, maybe Nadia or Luba. I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> this is so. I'm sorry if they're going to get offended by this. <laughs> no, I, oh no, I, I don't think that's a bad thing, though. Is it? I mean, this is a compliment, girls. We're saying you'd be great to play these characters in a in a hypothetical Inside Out two movie big dance. It's probably not going to happen. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh well. Um. Okay. So. Uh. So I'm. I mean, I'm probably gonna. What songs would you like there to be? Um. Dancing to this year. 
Um, I'm trying to think of any new songs that have kind of come out that have been good. I'm expecting some Taylor Swift. Oh, yeah, Taylor Swift for sure. Um, yeah, I think any Taylor Swift song would be good. What about you? I mean, if we're going off of... Which Taylor Swift songs do you think? Like... Um... I don't know. It's difficult to... I mean, I, I guess if they want an upbeat song or... They've already done Shake It Off, song. so they're not doing Shake It Off. Shake It Off, yeah. They've already done that, like, um, countless times. I think it could be Shake It Off, though. Yeah, but they've already done that, not... like... She's got that new album as well, so like. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not like a massive Swifty. I'm not like not a Swifty, but I'm not like a crazy about her. But I do, yeah. I, I, I do like her, and I do have. There are some of her songs that I really like. There is one song of hers that I do love. It's called "Stay, Stay, Stay." Um, I yeah, love it. I don't even know that one. I love it because, um, because she, it, someone a number of years ago, I watched as ed, someone edited. April and Andy from Parks and Rec to that song and it just so perfectly matched matched their characters. Um, so I, I that's I, I just love that song so much and I mean which other ones do I like? Um, I hope it's not Fortnite. I'm sorry if any Swifties are watching this. I don't like Fortnite. You don't like Fortnite. <laughs> you know you know that one. It's the one with Post Malone. Like, Pardon? it's the the one with Post Malone. Oh no. I don't know that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No. Apparently it was like kind of the song for about a fortnight, coincidentally. But I just don't, I just don't get it. It just doesn't do anything for me. I'm sorry. Sorry, I don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> I take no, it you're not, not, I take you're not really a Swifty either then. Well, I do like Taylor Swift, but I would, I was very sad when I saw um, all of the videos of people being at the um, era store, but... I do like our songs, but most of the like well-known ones. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm probably not going to be. I'm not dying to go to see her in concert or anything. But I do like her. I guess you could say I'm kind of like a casual Swifty, as in I'm in the most casual yeah. way possible. Like I like her. I yeah. like and respect her, but I don't really want to go see her in concert. Yeah. Although, I, I, I feel that's... that way about most artists, though. <laughs> I've been to like two concerts in my life, and that's. <laughs> But only one of one of them. I've only been to one like big arena concert in my life, and that's probably the only one I'll ever will go to. Oh, fair enough. That's for sure. <laughs> so like, um, so yeah. I mean, yeah. About other ones. Okay, I I put a thing about um, I really like her song "Lover." That's. Oh yeah, I love that one. Yeah. I'm not oh, sure what dance, but I I do think that would be a good song to dance to. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. That would be a really good, like, waltz or something. Or, like, an American Smooth, maybe. Yeah, like that would be really good. Like a Viennese waltz American Smooth or something. Yeah, that would be really good. Um, And, oh, there's one other one that I like. Um, Blank Space. I really like that one. Oh, yeah, that's really good as well. With the, the cake and the... <laughs> I really want one of those cakes. <laughs> <laughs> you look good. <laughs> yeah, I might, might make one for my cousin for her birthday next year. <laughs> and then my, my aunt and uncle will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good idea. You should definitely do it. <laughs> or I might just like get 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 around for fun though, because they 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 like they like her quite a lot. So like you know, um, yeah, there's quite there are there are a lot of songs of hers that I do like. Um, I just have to wait and see if if they maybe yeah. if they get her to like perform in the in the ballroom. Maybe they've done that before. I mean, yeah. I mean that might be absolute chaos. <laughs> but but I don't anyway. You know, I'm 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 not. Yeah, you know, I said I'm I'm only a casual Swifty, but I mean I'm I'm kind of getting there. So I'm saying please, please, you please. Might a, you might be a proper Swifty by the time uh, the strictly uh, season gets around, basically. <laughs> I'm I'm not I don't know I'm 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 not really planning on listening to all the albums and knowing all the lore and everything. I'm just gonna listen Fair to the songs here and there and just like you know respect her. Fair enough. That's that, that's good. Songs, but yeah, I'm, probably, I'm not a Swifty to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how I feel. I'm just like a super casual Swifty, but not really, <laughs> not really a Swifty. If that, I don't yeah. know what the line is. If anyone, any Swifties watch me, am I a Swifty? Because I, I, I like her song. I like some of her songs, not all of them, some of them. And like, if but I don't really want to see her in concert. And I don't know all the law. So am I a Swifty? Still, I just listen to a couple of songs here and there. Am I a Swifty? Someone please tell me. Um, 
Because it's question. been it's been play it's been like causing me some like severe anxiety for for weeks now, <laughs> giving me an existential crisis when I'm at work. <laughs> But, um, funny. That's what you're about. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of funny. This thing, there's this song that keeps playing on the radio every day at work, and it's gotten to the point where I literally can't stand it. But I thought it was a what? Taylor Swift song, and it turns out it's actually not. <laughs> oh, what song is it? It's called It's called Austin. It's called It's It's It's, it's on the radio every single day. It's like, and it's gotten. Oh. The, it's it basically it's. I thought it was a Taylor Swift song for months, and I was absolutely oh. just. I like, wanted to bash my head in every time I heard it. It's it's it's, it's, not, it's not a bad song. It's just annoying to me because I've heard it so many times. Um, yeah. But it's, it turns out it's not even by Taylor Swift, and so I was basically now I feel I feel kind of bad. I know she probably doesn't care, but I feel bad that's trashing her for a song that wasn't even. Hers. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Um. So anyway, moving on. My next ones. I'm thinking. Please, please, please. You, you get where I'm going with this i know what song you're talking about yeah please 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 can we have a samba to espresso oh, <laughs> that's a good one <laughs> please 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 can we have a taste of espresso oh very good i like that <laughs> i know I, I love i love sabrina carpenter okay i'm 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 on my i'm definitely on track to becoming a carpenter i'm obsessed really wow I, I, I've, only, I've only listened to short and sweet like three times now the whole way through <laughs> I've watched um, the music videos so many times. The one for taste, especially because I'm a, I'm a you know, horror, I'm a movie nerd as well. So like, <laughs> how long did it take you to come up with that um, that thing? <laughs> Not very long, but I mean, is I was I was kind of like mainly I was kind of like oh, yeah, I might check out Sabrina Carpenter just to spite the Swifties, but I mean, <laughs> then I'm actually actually I, I actually do genuinely really like <laughs> Sabrina Carpenter. I think she's so cool. Like she's like so like chill and she's so like sweet and i really hope that she comes and performs during a results show yeah hopefully i she might actually to be honest because she's quite popular isn't she yeah i know she's coming to the o2 as well which is going to be really cool you know i know i said i literally just said i don't really go to concerts but i wouldn't I actually maybe not yet but at some point i wouldn't mind seeing her in a concert <laughs> fair enough <laughs> I, feel like I have like five other albums to listen to first <laughs> yeah I mean, I don't know many of her songs apart from that one song. <laughs> that one song that you said. Please, please, please. Yeah. You don't know Espresso? Oh, I know that one as well, yeah. But I think that's it, literally. I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, please, 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 Taste, Espresso. Like, obviously all of the ones from her new album. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I don't know about that one. So, yeah, um... Samba to espresso, fox trot to please, 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 cha 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 to taste, um, cha 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 to feather as well. <laughs> I don't know that one. I'm not. I actually not. I'm not like that big of a fan of her. I'm sorry. I think I only know two of her songs. No, it's it's, it's fine. I mean, you, you, I don't. I don't really. You know, my my most of my family still have no idea who she is. <laughs> oh, okay. At least I know who she is. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's 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 fine. You don't you're not asking. You don't need to be a massive fan. I mean, it's probably takes a while. But I mean, and yeah, but that's the um, endless list. And I mean, what about Chapel Chapel Rhone? No, I don't know about that. Yeah, she's quite. I mean, she's been doing music for a few years. But I mean, I don't. I didn't really know who she was until she was until a few weeks ago. I mean, I'm not. I don't. I'm not. I don't know that much about her. I know. I know she's. I know some of her songs. I know "Good Luck, Babe," which has been on TikTok quite a lot. Yeah. Um, and "Hot to Go," um, and I really. I, she's got this one song that's really cool called "Pink Pony Club." <laughs> I don't know about that. That's an interesting name. I, th- I think I found that song because um, there's this this one singer that I really like that I've been. I mean, this one like singer that I've, I've been kind of like kind of had a little bit of a crush on <laughs> for the last few months. Oh. Um, oh. I've, I've, had, I've had two main crushes. They're both Broadway singers, <laughs> um, oh. one boy and one one man, one woman. So anyway, this woman was doing um, the woman. She was doing a concert a few weeks ago in like a park in New York or something, and it was it was so it was very bizarre. She was singing um, "Dancing on My Own." Oh, and then interesting! In the in the like, middle, out of nowhere, she starts singing "Pink Pony Club." <laughs> <laughs> what? It's kind of like I keep dancing on my own. 
Pink Pony Club. I'm gonna keep on dancing at the Pink Pony Club. And all the like the oh crowd God. went wild. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was like, what is this Pink Pony Club? I have to check that out. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. I might I might insert a clip here if I can like find it. But I mean I don't I know it's that was kinda cool. But I mean yeah, I mean I'm I'm more of a Sabrina Carpenter fan, but Chappelle Run, she's pretty cool too. So, you know, maybe they'll get her to perform in during a results show as well. So yeah. yeah maybe. And uh, I was thinking, yeah, I also wrote down um, Wonka Inside Out 2 Tangled. Tangled? Oh, nice. So first Wonka came out last year. I could, I do think it would be a really good, like, good idea for there to be, like, a group dance to Wonka. Yeah, that would be quite good. Between that and Inside Out 2, I'd rather have Inside Out 2. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah, I would probably prefer Inside Out 2. I think you haven't seen it, though. What, Inside Out 2? Yeah. No, I haven't. I haven't seen it, but, yeah, no. I think I've seen the first one, though, when I was younger. First one's my favourite movie ever, probably, so. Really? Oh, wow. I've seen no, it, I've seen it so many times. Watch I've, Inside Out 2, though. I've seen it so the first one so many times. I've memorised, like, the entire script. Every, like, line of dialogue, every action, like, everything that happens. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yeah, um, and then I wrote down Tangled because I've been kind of interested in. I mean, the, I told you, me and my friend, our two interests at the moment are Has Been Hotel and Tangled, and I don't think they're going to do anything Has Been Hotel related on Strictly. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, no, probably not. If I'm um, completely honest, <laughs> just imagining some kind of like scenario where they get um this one guy who's like um who does this voice called who sings this is a song called Poison in Has Been Hotel. <laughs> I'm imagine like oh, them yeah. getting the guy there to sing it and be like, and now it's performing Poison from Husband Hotel, but please do not look look up the context of this song because there are children watching. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> yeah. So because that's not gonna happen, I mean I know it's probably this is all gonna happen. I want there to be a tangled dance. I want someone to put on a long blonde wig and a purple dress. Someone some guy to have like a have like brown hair and like trousers and boots and a green vest and be they can do like a fox draw or a American smooth to I see the light. <laughs> Well, who do you want to uh, do that then? I don't know. Maybe Sarah Hadland, but or Tasha. I don't know. I don't mind. Um, someone. Like I want this. I'm. I'm disappointed in the dis- disrespect towards Tangled in the world. Like in the, I went to Disneyland in in the summer, and there was like barely anything there. Oh, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I watched, I've watched the entire... I, I finished... I, I finally, after seven years, watched the rest of the series. Um, and oh, it, yeah? It's so good, and I will make videos about it at some point. I know I said in a community post that I would do some. And I know I haven't posted in a couple of months. I just haven't been motivated to do YouTube videos. But yeah. the point is, Tangled the series is so freaking good and you need to go watch it and people need to go watch it because it's really good and I mean yes season three is kind of a mess and I'm really disappointed in one of the villain arcs in particular but um but but the songs are like top notch oh okay so we need to listen to them yes I've I mean I I know I probably um destroyed my dad's Spotify account by listening to the amount of times I've listened to the songs um (laughs) someone can do like a Really cool, lifty American salute to Swan Song called "Waiting in the Wings." Oh yeah, <laughs> um, it's all about it's all it's, it's it's just an incredible song about how like facing your um your destiny or um it's just about like you're feeling like you're you're um you're meant for something more and every time you want to you know try and show off yourself something gets in the way and you just kept there waiting and it's so beautiful and so powerful and it's just this. <laughs> incredible song and I want to I want to yeah I mean there's also a couple of other songs one called Crossing the Line um which I've listened to a dangerous amount of times I think um <laughs> it's just got this really high note at the end which is just in, incredible um and so I also listen to the song Nothing Left to Lose Ready As I'll Ever Be literally most of the songs are like incredible there's a couple of that I don't like but I know that's not gonna happen on Strictly but I'm saying I want do like a um foxtrot or americans move to nothing left to lose and get um get, get like someone to do that or, or just just going more realistically just 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 stick to the first idea of someone in a purple dress and doing i see the light <laughs> i like it though <laughs> yeah 
people go I please go watch yeah. Tangle the series and listen to the songs because they're incredible um and Husband Hotel as well, but I mean that's not definitely not going to be happening between Tangle and Husband Hotel. Tangle's definitely much more <laughs> likely to be going on Strictly. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It all sounds it all sounds very complicated. <laughs> I know you have no idea what I'm talking about. What, what do you think they no. should be like on movie week? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> um, I have no idea to be honest with you. I have no idea. We'll just have to wait and see. It's all very exciting, though. Yeah, I was, I was, um, oh yeah. So, did you hear they're um, making the Greatest Showman as a Broadway and West End musical? Oh no, I didn't. Yeah, so just announced a few weeks ago at D twenty three. Oh wow, I did not know about that. That is quite cool, though. Yeah, and um, hashtag please, um, please get Jeremy Jordan in every role. But um, point is, <laughs> like that means now they'll legally be able to do Greatest Showman on Musical Week as well as Movie Week. Oh, yes, that's quite good then. So yeah, more and I love Shaman. Greatest Shaman. Yeah. I literally love it. Do do rewrite the stars, please. Oh, I love that, yeah. yeah. I love the Greatest Shaman and the songs in it are so good. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's trying to think about what else. I mean, there's a bunch of musicals that I've been kind of getting into more um this year they did a great gatsby musical um earlier this year which they could you know i think that would be great to have some dancers to that i know no one's gonna know what this no, not many people want to know this but, but there's this other musical called lempika which um was which was on earlier this year and it sadly didn't last very long in the west end no on broadway oh, yeah. it lasted like only like a month on broadway but it it's the songs are really good in that and um please dance to um do like a really powerful dance this song called Woman Is. <laughs> um oh, that's okay. Yeah, it's a really it's it's really cool. Um but yeah, I'm I'm just talking about much nonsense now. Nonsense. <laughs> that's another Sabrina Carpenter song. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're obsessed. <laughs> I'm not obsessed obsessed. I mean I I'm I will I probably will be obsessed at some point, but not I'm getting there. <laughs> you're getting that <laughs> okay so yeah um i think that's pretty much all i have written down here oh wow do you have any other a... thoughts or ideas um, i don't know i mean i'm not that up to date with i mean i can't think off the top of my head of any new song that i particularly think will come up or any films um i mean obviously the year when barbie came out I feel like that was quite obvious that that was going to be in Strictly. Oh yeah, they might have um, like a um, they might have like a you know like a couples dance to Barbie this year. A couples dance? Oh yeah, maybe because they didn't have that. They did have Encanto, which I I still haven't seen. You haven't seen Barbie yet? No, I oh my seen, god, I've seen Barbie Even a million times. So I haven't seen Encanto yet. Oh, Encanto. Oh yeah, so that could be another song as well that could come up. No, as in, the, I'm, I'm, on, I'm saying, so when the year Encanto came out, the, so 2022, they did an Encanto group dance, and then last year, Ellie and Vito did a dance to a song from Encanto. So what I'm saying is that last year they did a group dance to Barbie, this year they should do a group, like a couple's dance to one of the songs from Barbie. Uh, okay, I get it. Yeah. But I'm saying I still haven't seen Encanto. It's every every year I say I I still have not seen Encanto and I I don't know why but I'm probably still not going to watch it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't, actually I haven't seen Encanto either. Yeah, but I mean the songs are good from Encanto though. The ones I've heard are okay. I mean, I have me and my friend are both who are both big Disney fans. I've still not seen Encanto, but he's probably said he's going to watch it because of Stephanie Beatrice. But I mean, I'm still probably going to wait a little while. Yeah, I mean, I'm not the biggest Disney fan anyway, so I know crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I mean, I'm I, I I am, but like, I mean, I am a big Disney fan, but I mean, there are I do have my problems with them as well. Yeah. No, I understand that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just like, I just don't really like Disney films that much, particularly, which I don't know why. <laughs> That's fine. I mean, I, I I love most Disney films, but they do have they do have some, they do have do some questionable things sometimes, especially the yeah, last few not, years. Yeah, I prefer like a real life film, let's say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm I mean, when I was younger, it was all about Disney, but now I'm kind of like now I can kind of like a bit of both. 
Yeah. I like a lot of different but... kinds of films. Yeah. There's a few different genres I'm not too into, into but I mean, I'm, I'm open to most kinds of things. Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. I was just agreeing with you, but I was just going to say I'm very excited for the next series of Strictly. It's very exciting. Yeah, I'm excited too. I mean, I am still a little bit disappointed about the whole, you know, lineup thing, but just whatever happens, happens. And uh, who do you think is going to win? Yeah. Who do I think is going to win? Um, I think, let me get up the names again. I have to look at them all because otherwise I can't think. Um, oh, it could be someone, to be honest, I feel like there's not really anyone this year who I'm particularly like, that person is going to win. I actually have no idea. Um, I'm going to go with... We don't know. I'm looking at them and I'm like, I genuinely, I think it's going to be someone who surprises us. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, Win or JB, but JB is mainly for the, um, the Aston Redemption. But I mean, I am. I do hope that Win surprises us. Who does? Win. Oh, Win. Oh, yeah. Oh, he could do, yeah. I mean, I would be very, I, I don't think Tasha's going to win. I think, because I think she'll, like, she'll do well. She's got dance experience already so i don't think she'll win but i think she'll be very good at it yeah i think i reckon she'll go far and maybe to the final but i don't think she'll win mm. yeah i agree yeah so yeah that's uh that about wraps it up i guess um i'll see you probably not the first week but I'll, I'll i'll be back on the first week but i don't know if you will then but, yeah, you know, we'll just, see. You know, hopefully week week two you'll be back with me. Hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully yes. We'll have to see. I mean, I might even be able. Yeah, I might be able to do it, but we'll have to see. <laughs> yeah, so I'll try and do it every week this year. But I mean, yeah, just if even if you can't do it, just let me know. Yes, I will do. Okay, so that about wraps up for strictly speaking. Then, um, see the uh, see you in two weeks, I guess. Then two weeks is it? Or is it? It's almost a week, isn't it? I'm talking. I guess. Okay, talking to the YouTube audience. I will see you after week one, and to you, I will see you probably week two. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. There we go.